Because this has a special Very setup. special motor. Uh. Junkyard motor, you pressure washed it. Took it apart, completely rusted. Completely rusted, like there's chunks rusted into the into the cylinder wall. So I like, dingle buried her out a little bit. Took a couple motors apart, got some bearings out of here, some bolts out of here, and uh, slapped it together. Took the crank to the machine shop, he's like, dude, throw that away. Took the block, he's like, not gonna happen. I was like, I'll show you. <laughs> I went home, the old, I had squirrel give me a hand. He put it together, look at her now. Oh my god, it really did. It really did. <laughs> I want to see the goods. I'm trying to strip it down and make it all nice and clean. That's not any worse than I would expect, to be honest. What do you think? Alright, so the question herein lies that the 6 0 that he had. Because the blow by was so bad, it probably might as well have been a 5 0, you know? I mean, what do you say? Like maybe a 4 8 or something, you know? How many cylinders actually was, had compression? It was ready for spray. I'm not even buying that. All right, so did they change your oil or not? I'm going to say yes. Oh, dude. George, not bad. You're good, man. Yeah. Where'd you get this thing from, man? Brand new clean. It's better than what we're taking out. Yep. Just pull this other rocker cover off and look at that side. And look at this side. Man. And then look at that side. And then look at that side. Look at that valve cover. Just that valve cover. So either this head has been replaced or everything under this side has been replaced. <laughs> All right, what we got, dude? Dude. Oh. It's a Kodak moment. <laughs> One of them just hanging in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see right up in there, loud and clear. <laughs> what cylinder was it? Um. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <'cause> <laughs> Actually, it's got to be a couple. Oh yeah. Because there's there was oil cylinder. coming out through, right where the remember the dipstick Holy was going to. Holy hole! Look at the size of this one. Oh, yowzers. There's got to be something over by the dipstick that punched out. I'm sure we'll see that as that goes. We've only got about we'll have commemorative engine pieces at Cletus and Cars here. 30 minutes of all the RPM. <clears throat> with one warm up. All right, so while they're doing that, we've got our other motor here. We've got actually two different motors. We're going to try and put them together pick all the best parts and pieces from them. That is a Gen 3 vehicle. This is a Gen 3 motor. The other motor was a Gen 4 motor. So we're gonna kind of mix and match. Gen 4 motor has better rods and pistons. Mainly steel on the heads. Yeah, really the heads is the best and the intake manifold. So this is not as desirable of an intake manifold. Unless then, these heads are okay, because <clears throat> I don't want to waste the good ones, because they are ported. Yeah, these are ported, so. All right, well, let's turn it And they already got the springs on them. All right, we're on the timer, so we need to get this thing pulled and out of here as fast as possible. To the junkyard. One more piece of pizza. All right, so far this thing looks like this is the one that, uh, this is the dirty dingo right here. Doesn't look like it's got oil changes. It looks pretty nasty. Whew. Super fugly inside. Really, oh yeah. <laughs> so this is the one we're gonna go with, eh? All right. Sometimes you get a good deal, sometimes you don't. Look at the oil on there. Hardly any metal on there. All 
Alright, so y'all just saw us pull that thing off right there. Ooh. Dang! Dilemmas. Oh, we'll put it down. Clean it up a little bit and... <laughs> well, it couldn't be worse than the previous motor. Correct. Oh, yeah, I can see well, some... Maybe yeah. it could. It's sticking right there. Spray it first. Please. Yeah, he gets some Marvel Mystery Oil and maybe some freaking... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Be fine. Just clean it up a little bit. This is this is hefty on this side. Right? But if this is the one you paid more for... 500 bucks. If this is the one you paid more for, I'd be... It. And you got the other one for cheaper, then I'd... I want to see you with an aluminum motor. Personally. For the race truck? For the burnout Everything. Truck? everything he said he just pulled this out of a running avalanche bro it must have been three years ago yeah <laughs> i mean maybe three months ago and it sat in a freaking hurricane but <laughs> we did have a hurricane <laughs> all right so the first motor was a gen 4 and after a little bit of deliberation we decided hey look it's going to be too much work and too little time in order to be able to get this to work so so we went to that gen 3 motor which was motor number two which we're looking at right here right now and again, after a little bit more time and inspecting, not going to go. It's, uh, it really wasn't where the direction we wanted to go, and it wasn't in the condition of what we wanted. So, the search continues, and let's get on to pulling the motor in the truck. There's some broken things up there. <laughs> there's a lot of broken there's stuff. Half of a rod connected to the crank. Looks like there's piston shrapnel up, all up in that oh, board. Yeah, holy cow. Yeah, that is. I can there's see a lot of pieces right there. A wrist pin and the top of a rod jammed sideways up there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to get it to break loose. The scientific approach. Jab first and ask questions later. Yeah. I mean, it was rolling, and then it wasn't. See your ported heads from there, George. These are a quickie job. Yeah, I literally did these on a Saturday. And that was like when I first started. So when we were just talking about like Ben's blower, you're talking about it was like a Friday night job, and then that was even a Saturday job. Yeah, that was a Saturday job. You know, I was watching that. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea, Blackhawk. You didn't get a crappy job. You know, you just gotta. You know, it was free. So. Whoa. Free. Well, you know. Thought we was friends. Yeah, I know you got a good one. I mean, you were right there, about to be the first nine-second V3 in the oh, world. Oh man, you just got to rub salt in the wound right now. Almost. Yeah, you know what second place is though. First place loser. No, I'm just oh, kidding. You're doing a great job helping me right now, by the way. Yeah, you know what? That. <laughs> <laughs> that new motor is gonna blow up real quick. <laughs> oh. Dude, I should talk to Nitrous Out. Let's see if we can get a kit. Yeah, me too. I need a kit. I need two bob, two of the big ones tomorrow. <laughs> and Harry, I need him by the night. <laughs> oh yeah, today. Oh, all right. Amateurs don't use nitrous oxide. <laughs> She's loose. <laughs> Ground's off. Nah, yep, I don't it is. Ground's on my vehicles. <laughs> I just tie them in with solder or, or rods. Or rods. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't I just knock these coils off real fast? Okay. I'll give you a couple inches right there too. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that took everything. Oh, there man. <laughs> so there was three holes in this motor. That yeah, there it. had to be one over there. Huh? <laughs> How many times have you heard that tonight, George? Uh, on any given night. Jeez. On any given night, I hear it quite a bit. Go back, go back. Oh, wait, stop, we stop, do stop, 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 Go back. <laughs> we do got ground. Push back. Wait a minute, I thought you said you didn't put any grounds on you there. You know, somebody else must have did that one. Yeah. Dang, I opened the exhaust ports up on this Hell one. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that. It's because I was planning on putting a turbski on her. It's a two-hand. 
thing rather than. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, damn. Jeez. <laughs> Took that one from him. Yeah, he did. I was sleeping on it because he never heard her say that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the only <laughs> look at all the times it's been. <laughs> Just gotta give it one more little hash mark right there. Blackhawk's trying to save it, but I'm gonna get it. No! <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Damn it. Dang. Oh, man, we scratched the damn course oh, for it. My troll's oh, hair is falling off here. The what? Water. Water, water, water. Water! Is oh, what? look at that! It's a beautiful hole. Do you there. literally see straight through you guys. Mm. Oh, yeah? <laughs> What's up? Yummy. Oh, you cracked the pan too. This oh, brownest water ice. There you go. One. There's all kinds two, of crunch. Three. <laughs> that was the one that was too much, man. My old 6.0. Dog gone. Lived about four times longer than I think anybody would have given it credit for. So we should take the pan off this thing one day. I mean, just check it out. All right, hold on. I got an idea here. So a long time ago, a guy I knew had. They were going to blow something up on the dyno, and they took wagers, and they got you bought certain time so you could buy a second at a time or a half a second depending on how much you put up and they just basically put the throttle wide open on a dyno i can't remember what the car was but the guy raised a, a good amount of money or for everybody to just hang around and watch it blow up <laughs> i think we could do that for you one time again <laughs> so this you know a few weeks ago um you know hindsight's oh, 2020 Wow, if there's more than two broken rods... All right, let's get this oil pan off of here, man. Let's All right. Up. Oh, dang. Camera on. Oh! oh. Some... Mostly everything came out already. <laughs> the oil ring. All right. Well. Dude, the hole underneath oh is, gosh, like, man. ridiculous. Dude, you should keep oh, that window straight. That window tray is impressive, though. I'm gonna hang that up on the wall. You should. Show everybody how oh. good I am at building motors. Crap. <laughs> it's like keeping a scalp or something. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. Look at all the bearings. It's a freaking pinata. We <laughs> got another wrist bearing. Right I need a cleaning crew in the shop tomorrow. Yeah. L.S. Piñata. Oh, dude. You just, like, snapped He's them a, all. Look at the piston. Look at that. We gotta get that out for sure. Just got the, our heads up underneath the motor, dangling by a freaking... <laughs> Ren's giving me anxiety over here. I'll be all right. He's got that. Oh, gross! <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> If somebody hasn't been in an engine like that before, it really feels like fat from like, you know, some sort of Barbie. animal. Yeah. It's just more gelatinous. You there know? you go. Yeah, look how gelatinous. Ah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Make a little. Okay, now. Ah. I'm going fish for that one a little while. Yeah. I remember you. <laughs> Grab it like it's hot. Hey. Give me his issues. I can it's see this. I mean, obviously the box has had a hole in it for a long time. Remember when we were wondering where the coolant went? Yeah. yeah. There's your sign. And? Mm. Things are broken. <laughs> I bet the head's okay. Is it? Yeah. Good enough. I mean, Looks a couple good. chunks, but... All right, but this oh, isn't that's... the side missing the piston, though. The other side's missing a piston. Well, this is... All of them are here? This is one's broken oh. for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Broken, but it's not this one. Oh. That's still a nice flat hit. Flat yeah. hit. <laughs> All right, we got to give some of these away. Somebody wants some of these. Somebody's going to... This is like a Cletus and Cars memento. You know, just you guys have a... want some chunks to put on your keychain? Come on, see us down at Cletus and Cars, Bradenton, Florida, November 21st. 2020. We're going to try and use these heads again. It would save us a whole lot of time. We feel that these are our best option because George has a bunch of time in them right now. Now, they are really big, especially for a small motor. Now, if we were had a turbo on it, like George was saying, which was the plan a while back, that would be great. However, that's just really, really large for a 5.3 liter motor. It's not going to make as much torque. But if we spray the hell out of it, Ooh. then it'll work. Oh, look at that. 
Ooh. That's Holy what I'm really worried about. Holy crap. Huh. It's definitely uh, got some pepper in of it. I don't, oh, yeah. This that, isn't that, that bad, It's stuck though. under that valve. Yeah, but I mean, so okay, so that, that hurts a little right there, but you can round that guy off a bit. That's definitely Yeah, but we don't have any major damage. No, on these. for sure. Well, yeah, the valve, valve seats. Yeah, the valve seat we'll just might pop that one apart and check it. This one broke. Dude, look at that smooth deck surface right there. <laughs> look good, the Buzz lack of piston. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yep. That'll do it every time. No <laughs> There's piston. so much piston still on the bottom. Look at that polished job on that crank, though. <laughs> Did that with a shoelace and some sandpaper. Oh. All right. That's that squeak. Need yeah. one of those, too. <laughs> ben was making fun of my rags I had stuffed in there because I got no knock sensors. I just had some oily rag stuff. Wait a minute. I thought you had knock sensors. <laughs> no. <laughs> Forgot to put those in. Never showed knock in the tune, did it? Oh, oh look at that, man. <laughs> Pretty funny. Yeah, see if we can pop it out. Oh, well, now it wants to spin over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it'll fire. <laughs> I've got four of these pistons. <laughs> do you want to put this one back together? <laughs> well, I mean, what are we gonna do with the, like the three-inch holes in you the know, block they on say both JB sides? Weld, you could put on a block. We could we could try to get JB Weld to send us a bottle. Salvageable. Call the bottle. Can't we don't scratch the board. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking. Not bad. Man's going wild over here. It took here. a while. Right on the other side of the truck here. Oh, I guess that one had a little rust too. Yeah, they were all pretty bad. They were all pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it made it through one burnout contest though, which is pretty impressive. Oof, that bright light's can make me a little dizzy. What time is it? Before midnight, I think. It oh, is. This one, George. That's it. 11.25. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's right. I feel those. Dang, that makes, dude. That makes noise with your nail. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I was, I was going to throw it away. This was Laz's idea. Well, you just <laughs> built it. I'm like, what? Look at, the look at the condition of this piston. It's not even the one to let that go. No, oh, it's cracked in half, though, you see? Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> I guess carnage is pretty cool. Definitely hurts a little bit at first, though. And then it's cool. Need to cut, cool. cut back to this face change. I'll show you. <laughs> Hope you put it together. Look at her now. <laughs> a lot of water coming out of there. Sounds a little chunk of something. All right, so here we go. We got engine number three. Hey, here, third time's the charm, George. What do you say? That's what they say. And then we got engine number four, just in case. <laughs> three. Get a good look at this. Oh, never mind. There it comes. <laughs> Big sludge ball in there. A lot of water, but nothing to be scared of, I don't think. All right, so we'd have to change the reluctor ring on our Gen three or our Gen four if we wanted to get that to work on the Gen three. So it doesn't seem like a viable option, like and now we're down to like two or three days. Yeah, yeah, two days. So, well, it's Wednesday night, so we're working it. Clocks are ticking. So realistically, we got a six liter here. Even though iron motor six liter is going to make more power than the five three, right. hands down. But uh, yeah, we're just checking and inspecting, man. So. This one should definitely be good. Be good. That one's a big maybe. That's a maybe. All right. Well, I mean, well, now we got them both anyways, just right. in case. Well, after a few more minutes of tearing into that motor, going through everything, that looks to be the one. So thank God for Josh bringing in something coming in absolutely clutch. We got projects we got to finish, and we got so many other deadlines that we have to meet. It This just does not look like it's possible, but we're going to do our best to try and make it to Cletus and Cars. Plus, we got some other surprise for that coming in, so it's going to be it's going to be down to the wire. And we got our projects and stuff that we have to finish, so... Guys, thank you so much for your support with the merch. It has just been absolutely awesome. Please check out the link in the description below at Faster Prom Store. We got hats, t-shirts, lanyards, stickers, and we even have a few of those Uncle Sam posters left. Not a lot, but get them while they last. Hope to see you guys at Cletus and Cars. It's going to be an absolutely wild show. Now here, I'm going to leave you with a quote, and this one is from Winston Churchill. 
It says the pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. The optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. And guys, last night when we were tearing this down and guys, last night when we were working on another project, uh, somebody had a little recommendation here and this one I got to go with here. So you got to go with Bob Seeger and Night Moves. Hope you guys enjoy. God bless you. We'll see you next episode. Here we go.